Hi everyone, I am out here on beautiful Clear Lake today and I think because the uh, weather forecaster said that it was going to rain, which it dripped a little bit, um, there is nobody. There is nobody. Nobody out here. Nobody. And then you can look this way. As far as you can see. Nobody. <laughs> and so I think I made a good choice. I was really gonna second guess on whether or not this was gonna be a good idea. I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna take the risk and um, come out here and just uh, do a little bit of float therapy. So I gotta figure out a way to to do uh, counseling in my boat and, um, and let people come out and just get a little bit of float therapy. And, Interestingly, lately, um, several people have talked to me about um, spiritual fulfillment and, and also being able to feel as though they're connecting with God. And so uh, one of the conversations that I had recently was that we spend a lot of time thinking about God. One of the things that we talk in, in this particular group is learning how to separate our uh, emotions from facts. And so it takes a lot of thinking. We need to learn how to think about how we feel. And then it's shifting from, okay, now that I'm aware that my emotions shouldn't dictate my relationship with God or my self-esteem, how do I connect with God without f bug <laughs> thinking about it? How do, I, how, do I, how do I sit with God and not be aware that I'm sitting with God? So the conversation yesterday went something like, I, I need to spend more time with God. And it's yes, that's very true. And I need to spend more time reading my Bible, and that would make me a better Christian. Well, that's true. However, that's not the end of all the things that we should do. So as we're reading our Bible, are we aware of how God is speaking to us through the Word? And 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 being aware of God and the Word more than being aware of oh, there's that bug. <laughs> being aware of of um ourselves and being able to check off the box, hey, I read my Bible today. And and that's and that's an interesting challenge is, is really being able to look at um, when I'm praying, do I focus on God and his character and say, thank you, God, for your amazing power and your mercy and your love and your plan and really focusing on who he is rather than on Okay, I'm praying to God. I gotta say the right thing at the right time. I have to use the right verses in the right posture, facing the right direction, with the right clothes in the right room, um, and and then I can check off the box that I did it. Can we actually focus on I am speaking to God, and in this moment in time, I'm going to be aware of Him more than I'm aware of me, and that's where spirituality comes in. So it's shifting from emotion. Um, I don't like myself, I don't like where I'm at in life, I don't like what's happening, I don't, um, nobody else likes me, God doesn't like me, God's dissatisfied with me, my family's dissatisfied with me, how we feel about all that, to thinking about what is really true. God loves us all equally, and He wants us to know Him, and to uh, understand Him, and be saved and, and relieved and relieved of shame and fear and guilt and enjoy life with him and can we think about that and be aware of that and then can we actually do that can we actually experience him can we spend the time to get to know him well and and to sit with him and listen to him and be more aware of him than we are aware of ourselves and so uh, I appreciate uh, uh, the opportunity to speak into uh, so many people's lives about, about the simplicity of, of just being who God designed us to be, being aware of that in real time, and allowing God to love us where we're at, and receive that love, and experience that peace, and being able to give away the pressure and the tension. And so I hope that uh, this has brought a little bit of um, serenity to your life just for the moment and I did want to say that um, 
Um, I will probably be posting more things on YouTube because I realize that this group is, um, it's just a group and so there's only people from the group can actually see it and I think if I, if I post things on YouTube and then uh, repost them in the group that um, there's a chance that more people will have access to them. So anyway, I hope you're having a fabulous day and I hope to hear from you soon. Alrighty, bye-bye.